Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my top 10 products at the body shop. I have done some hauls in the past, I've reviewed products in the past and that is because I did used to be a consultant at the body shop. I sold products for the body shop and earned commission on those sales but I did stop doing that and I decided to stop doing that for many different reasons and I will probably speak about that in the future but I did start my own skincare range. I've got my little products up here. This is my detox clay face mask and this is my tea tree oil if you are interested in trying out any of my products or anything that I've created then please check out my website which will be linked in the description. I put loads of time and effort into these. My brand is called Fresh Faced and my website is freshfacedskincare.shop. So that's just if you're kind of interested I thought I should probably get that in there first but just because I've got my own products doesn't mean that I'm not going to talk about other products or I'm not going to use other products because at the end of the day I have only got two products out it's not like you know I've got a whole range and um, if I do have a whole range I will use my products and not the body shop ones but for now I just thought that it was kind of a good video to do considering I have done a lot of body shop hauls, I've spoken about a lot of products and I think now it's kind of my time to say what are my top 10 and why. I'm going to start with skincare and I'm going to do this in chronological order so like removing your makeup, washing your face and in the morning applying makeup so I've got some makeup bits at the end but the first product is the body shop obviously because this whole video is body shop but it is the chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter. Now this is definitely one of my absolute favourites at the body shop. I repurchased this twice I think, maybe a third time I'm not sure but it is a balm consistency. I am addicted to balm cleansers. I love them as you can see that's nearly ran out. I just love the fact that you can have a full face of makeup on like I do now and then literally just take a bit of a, a balm, rub it into your skin, rub it all over your face. It removes your makeup so quickly and so easily. Like you don't have to scrub or anything. Like it just melts your makeup off. Then you can go use a muslin cloth to wipe it away or you can um, just wash it off in warm water which is kind of what I tend to do. And I just really love this product. I know that I've tried different balm cleansers in the past and I like them just equally it is definitely a product that I want to try and develop myself and that I want to look into it's a little bit more complicated than some of the other products that I'm doing but I'm definitely looking into it at the minute so don't worry about that I'm just kind of lacking space in my little flat like I, I have a small flat I've got boxes everywhere full of packaging labels ingredients everything like there's a lot going on so it's a lot of effort but I'm enjoying it. Second product is the Vitamin C Glow Revealing Liquid Peel. This says it's for dull, tired and grumpy skin. I love that whole Vitamin C range. It was probably one of my favourite ranges at the body shop in terms of skincare because they do loads of different ranges, sort of aimed at different skin types but this one is for people that want more glowy skin. I, if I was going to come out with like product I would love to have vitamin c in my products but I do know that that's quite difficult to do because the vitamin c does get denatured by the sunlight so you have to have it in quite like dark packaging but they would never be able to do this see-through so it is quite a difficult one to do but it's just a really really nice ingredient to have in products their liquid peels you basically put some into your hand you apply some to your face and then you rub it in and it just starts peeling away it gets rid of any kind of dry skin that you've got I love this and it is quite expensive it is 18 pounds but they do always have discounts on but I do think it is worth the money because for me I often sometimes don't have dry skin but my skin just doesn't feel like really nice and moisturised and hydrated it just feels a bit kind of meh. I use this and it feels so 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 much better like it's got rid of like them like bits of dead skin I think that's what it's good for getting rid of like dead skin um, but yeah really really like that. Also in the vitamin C range we have this which I use every time I go in the shower this is the vitamin C daily glow cleansing polish which looks like this. I thought that this would be like a scrub to kind of scrub your face but it's actually for me more of like a wash meat scrub so it's got like little kind of scrubby particles in it but it's not really harsh or anything. I quite like scrubs that are quite harsh and they really get in there and they kind of remove stuff but with this product it just leaves my skin feeling quite fresh quite glowy which is what it's there for and just really nice and clean and I do look forward to using this in the shower. I do really love the smell of it as well. I think that's one of the things that I like about the vitamin C range is that I love the smell and the look, like the aesthetic and how bright it is. So yeah, 
I do really love that and I think that is something I will be rebuying from them. Now for a couple of face masks. I love face masks. I use them every single day. I brought out my own face mask as my first product because I do love face masks so much. Since I brought that face mask out I haven't used any other face masks yet but I thought I would still kind of give these a little mention in there anyway. I am going to use them. I'm going to use them until I finish them and then I won't rebuy them. This is a mini mask from The Body Shop. They recently launched their mini masks so they have their expert face mask full sized. They look like this and then the mini version is these and they are £6. They're still quite expensive like my face mask is £6.50 and this is tiny compared to that. So they are obviously you know quite pricey but it's The Body Shop so you know it's good stuff but this is the British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask and I bought this and I tried this and I didn't think you know this is going to be anything special I didn't think that I would really really love it but I actually do like I apply this to my skin and it really feels like it's working it just hydrates my skin it tingles and it's one of those masks that just feels like it's benefiting your skin and once I've washed it off my skin is really nice and soft and yeah I do really like that mask it's not like a traditional kind of clay mask or anything like mine is but it is definitely you know a beneficial product so I do love that and then this mask is one that they launched at the beginning of January. I was still selling products for the body shop when this launched and I did get my hands on it. And this is the Hemp Overnight Nourishing Rescue Mask. I love the colour of this. Like this is the best green ever. I This is my favourite colour. Like I just love that green. Doesn't that just look really nice? But in the inside, so if I actually show you on the inside of the product... It is also green on the inside and isn't that just such a satisfying colour? Like I just think that looks so nice and basically this is meant for kind of applying before you go to bed and then overnight it's hydrating, wake up in the morning with soft skin. I don't do that because if you roll over onto your pillow you will get it on your pillow and I hate that. Like I, I really do. So I use this, put it on for about three hours or one hour or whatever take it off and it genuinely does work and that's why it's in my top 10 and they've only just released it. Hemp, their hemp range is very good. I will show you a product um, that's also part of the hemp range in a second but yeah this is an amazing product. If you have dry skin you will love this. If you just have kind of like, I don't have dry skin but sometimes like I said earlier it's not feeling 100% hydrated or 100% soft this will do that and I just love it like I really really do and it's not something that I'll repurchase because it is quite expensive and I am developing my own products and stuff but it's definitely something that I'll be sad when it's gone and I would recommend it. Then I have this which is the final product from the skincare that's my favourite and this is not really an essential product but it's definitely something that benefited my skin. This is the Drops of Youth Essence Lotion. Now, this is part of their Drops of Youth range, which is meant for kind of aging skin. You should probably start using this range sort of late 20s or, you know, mid 20s. But obviously, because I was doing the body shop, I got a lot of free products. And this was something that I got for free. And it's so, so, so hydrating. Like, you put it onto your skin and it feels really, like, wet but like in a hydrating way it's really hard to explain and then it takes a few seconds to sink in but when it does sink in it just feels like a nice kind of smooth layer over your skin like I love this product I used it morning and night I would really highly recommend it if you do like products that you just feel like are hydrating especially before bedtime because I like to feel like I've got really hydrated skin now I've got a few makeup favorites um from the body shop i thought i'd include some makeup ones as well now this one is kind of makeup kind of skincare they do market it as a skincare product but i would market it if i was them as a primer because it, it basically is a primer and it does say on the directions for use that you should apply it just before makeup which is exactly what a primer is so it is a primer. Um, but this is the Vitamin C Skin Reviver Instant Smoother. So it's about smoothing your skin out. That is what a primer is meant to do. This fills your pores in, so you apply it to your skin, it fills in your pores and it smooths them out and blurs everything. So when you apply foundation, you've got kind of like a really smooth canvas underneath. So none of your foundation sinks into your pores. It's just over the layer of this primer. And that is what I love. This is the best primer I've ever tried. I absolutely love it. I am definitely going to be rebuying this it is quite expensive you know 
in terms of what I usually go for but it is really good and I do think I will be rebuying this so yeah I do really like this and again it's part of the vitamin c range as you can see I do love the vitamin c range and then we have a concealer so I purchased the matte clay full coverage concealer in the shade number 10 I've spoken about this on my channel before and I have actually run out of it basically nearly and um, there is a little bit still left in there and I am going to use it up completely because I don't like to waste anything but I've got a brand new one here as well but yeah I bought another one and that just really shows that I do really love the product if I do rebuy things but basically what I like about it is it's got great coverage like it is a really kind of strong coverage so I think if I had this in a slightly darker shade because mine is in number 10 so it's quite a low down shade that it would cover my spots really really nicely because I've got it in such a bright kind of light shade it's only really suitable and only really perfect for popping underneath my eyes and I love that because it just brightens up my under eyes and it genuinely makes such a difference if you've got bright under eyes it just makes um, your eyes stand out a little bit more it makes you look less tired and that's just kind of the vibe that you want to go for when you're doing your makeup so I do really love that and yeah, I'd recommend checking that out if you really like kind of full coverage concealers. It is a cream one um, and it does work best when you pop your finger in it and you just kind of pat it onto your eye. And then finally for makeup, we have the brow and liner kit. Mine is in the shade number three. And this is an excellent product. I really would recommend this. So you get two shades, you get like a little brown one and then it looks kind of black. It's like a gray black shade. And then you do get a little brush with it and the brush has kind of this end and then like a little smaller end so it's got two ends to it and I actually use the brush it's quite a rarity when I get a product and I actually use the brush that it comes with but yeah what I do is I apply the lighter brown through the um kind of front of my brow and then the kind of gray black through the end now you might look at this and think oh that's quite dark but actually when it's applied to the brows it matches my hair really really well I looked at the gray black and I thought oh that's going to be looking a bit you know dark but actually it looks quite nice and I like the finish that it gives it is an eyeshadow it does make my eyebrows look a lot more natural than it would if I used a pomade or something and yeah this is just a nice little kit and again this is something that I am going to rebuy when I've run out of this but thankfully it does last a long time okay I have my 10th favorite which is definitely a favorite this is the Fuji green tea eau de cologne um, from the body shop obviously now I am addicted to their Fuji green tea range everything Fuji green tea scented is my favorite I literally I like absolutely love it this I saw and I was like hell yeah I'm having that because I liked the shower gel I liked um, the scrub everything like that like I just loved everything that they had and then I saw they've actually got an actual like perfume of it and I was like I need that because I love the smell so much so yeah I use this every single day I love the smell it's lasting me really long and I would recommend kind of checking out their scents because they are really good quality especially this one this one is a really nice scent like if you haven't oh it's nice if you haven't smelt the Fuji green tea range smell it like I would love to have some of my products smell of this and um, but I'm not sure how I would do that but I can try we can always try now we've had our top 10 but I've just kind of thrown in there a plus one like a little bonus favorite and this is the hemp hard working hand protector so we had the hemp um, face mask now we've got the hemp hand cream this is one of the most famous products it works really really well it works to kind of nourish your hands if you have like dry skin or anything this will clear it up literally overnight if I ever get like any dry skin kind of on my face or anything which rarely happens but Jamie had some dry skin up on his forehead because I know he hit his head or something I don't know something had happened um, but it was kind of dry and I thought Thought, do you know what what's going to be more powerful than a moisturizer is this because it's so nice luxurious and thick applied it onto his head and it was gone the next day so it is really like a miracle working product okay so that is my top 10 plus one bonus one favorites from the body shop i'm really really happy with all of these products and i would repurchase some of them or didn't repurchase some others but for various different reasons obviously i've got my own skincare range which you can check out with the link in the description to my website if you would like 
completely up to you um but i do put a lot of time and effort into that but hopefully you enjoyed this video just saw my kind of top 10 favorites and you know after all the products i've been reviewing i think it's quite nice to actually genuinely see what are my actual favorite products so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye